What's up, Hardwood Nation? I'm your online host, Nick Camiotti, welcoming you inside the set of Hardwood Heroes. I'm joined by Eastern reporter Justin Holbrook here on the desk to break down Eastern's 65 to 55 loss to the Nelsonville York Buckeyes tonight. Justin, it's been a tough season for Eastern, just one win to this point, but tonight they had the chance to knock off a high profile opponent and maybe get some momentum moving into the playoffs possibly pull off a playoff upset. Well, that's exactly right, Nick. The Eagles entered this matchup against Nelsonville York with only one win through 16 games and a two-game losing streak, and they look to turn that around against the Buckeyes tonight. It started off as a hard-fought first half in which the Eagles found themselves tied 7-7 in the early first quarter. However, back-to-back -back threes from junior Jay Elliott gave the Buckeyes a lead it would not give up the rest of the game. The Eagles kept it close in the first half, however, only trailing 34-30 going to halftime and also out-rebounded the Buckeyes in the first half. The Buckeyes, however, were able to break away in the third quarter after a 12-3 run, giving themselves a double-digit lead they would not relinquish. The Eagles never got closer than 10 points, and the Buckeyes were able to take advantage of Eastern's weak defense, scoring many easy layups. Despite early foul trouble from Cannon Kilbarger and Jeremy Warren, the Eagles turned the ball over 25 times and only four team assists, and the Buckeyes really took advantage of that, giving themselves a 65-55 to win over the Eagles on the road. Their scoring normally comes from Josh Fayette, Cannon Kilbarger, but tonight it came from an unlikely source. Well, that's right. Tonight it came from none other than Jay Elliott, who led the team with 19 points. Elliott, along with Kilbarger and Colt Adams, combined for 52 of the team's 65 points. Elliott also shot an amazing 50% from behind the arc, and also uh, corralled in eight rebounds for the Buckeyes. Well, it's a loss for Eastern, but it's only by 10 points to a pretty good team. What did they do positively tonight that they can take away and apply for the rest of the season? Well, tonight, they need to learn from their second half mistakes. The team started off hot in the first half. However, the second half really killed them tonight. I talked to Coach after the game, and he told me that first half shooting went great for the team, but in the second half, they couldn't make baskets fall, especially in the third quarter. He said they just couldn't find the bottom of the hole. However, tonight the Eagles went 16 of 20 from the free throw line and made 80% of their foul shots. So they really had that to take away. And also from their senior, Chase Cook, who gave them uh, 18 points, but also had six turnovers. So a number of positives for Eastern tonight, unfortunately for them. They could not get the win, but we'll see if they can put together a full game plan and maybe snag a second win by the end of the season. Thanks a lot, Justin. Unfortunately, you have to wait until Sunday to view another episode of Hardwood Heroes, but until then, join us on the web at woub.org slash heroes to get all of your Tri-Valley Conference basketball news. While you're online, please check out our social media sites. Follow us on Twitter at Hardwood Heroes, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram at WOUB Sports. On Instagram, please send us your very best pictures from this week's contest. Our favorites will air on our Pick of the Week segment on our very next show. Also, be sure to use the hashtag BeHeroic14 to join the conversations about your favorite teams and players. For Justin Holbrock, I'm Nick Camiotti reminding you to be heroic.